Guys, I just can't take any more. Like, this club have just ruined me. Full time, West Ham 3, Arsenal 3. And the same comeback from us going 3 0 down. Player ratings, it, it, it wasn't a bright comeback because we were shocking. Let's get right into it. So yeah, as I said, like this club, Jesus Christ, we don't like to do things easy. We're, we're Arsenal football club. Like we go three 0 down, embarrassing. Um, listen, I'll get I'll, I'll get onto the game in a minute, but just like let's start off by saying what a comeback from us. You know, going three 0 down against West Ham for starters, that's an absolute embarrassment. I don't care if West Ham, if West Ham are having a good season. It's a joke. We should not be going three 0 down to West Ham. Yeah, like I, like I said, I don't care if they're having... Yeah, they're doing well, but come on, we're also a football club. And that first half was only one of the worst first halves I've seen for a long time, yeah? Um, what, I don't know what happened to West Ham in, in, in that second half because, you know, we go 3-1 up... Uh, sorry, 3-0 down at half-time, and um, that was quite a crucial goal from Lacazette. Uh, and we had two own goals as well from them. And in the second half, West Ham just sat back a little bit. I mean, and then we started to like push him back a, a lot more. And then obviously they um we did get the second goal, another own goal, like I said from Dawson. And then obviously um uh they had two real chances where they hit the post to Antonio. Let's be real, any team could have won that game. I mean, let's be real, West Ham could have won about five two. Um, we could have won maybe four three. No, I don't think we. Nah, nah. I think West Ham really should have won if, 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 if I'm being honest. And it's another one of them games where you just got a white, you know, we've got a whale one. Um, now, don't look at the performance and think, oh, it's three, three. Arsenal must have played well because um, that first half was one of the, like I said, one of the first halves I've ever, one of the worst first halves I've ever seen. Um, I mean, let's talk about the goals. Absolutely cl calamitous defending. The, the first goal. You know, um, I, f I forgot who scored now. Who scored? Oh, Lingard. It has to be Lingard. Of course, it has to be Lingard. Um, obviously, just it was way too easy. And obviously, and then one minute later, what is Bernardo doing? Yeah, th 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 I mean, what is the whole of the Arsenal? What is the defense doing? We literally go watch, rewatch the um second goal. Watch Kieran Tierney. He's actually looking the opposite way. Yeah, and I, and I love Kieran Tierney, but. They one quick free kick, Bowen, Leno. What, what I don't care, he has to save that. He has to save that. I don't care. Yeah, they go 2 0 up, and I'm like, oh my god. And then they get the third, I'm like, oh, it's game over. Um, and obviously, we got a bit lucky with, with that Lacazette shot, um, which uh, we went 3 3 on up half time, and then an own goal to make it 3 2. And then I just knew we'll probably get a new class and come back because that's what Arsenal do, you know, it's written for us. Uh, we ne never like to do things the easy way. And it's just like one of them. I mean, listen, only five players can hold their heads up high today. That was Lacazette. I thought he's up there for man in the match. Martin Odegaard was superb. Yeah, like he's the only one getting a ball, driving forward all the time. Yeah, this guy has to be signed on the tournament. Um, David Louise, I'll give credit to. Um, Callum Chambers is gonna, definitely going to be my man of the match. I thought he's superb. Um, yeah, I mean, he's quite poor in defence, but. He's attacking was, Jesus Christ. Maybe we should start starting my right back. Um, uh, yeah. So like I said, um, who, did, who did I say? Louise, Odegaard, uh, Party as well. Uh, there's a few times where you know he, he was the one really controlling midfield. Let's get some players who should get get out of my football club right now. Yeah. Um, Granite Xhaka, what did he do again? What does he actually bring to the Arsenal football club? And good for Mikel, yeah. Good for him for taking most because he deserved it. Another ball, it's another bullshit performance from Granite Xhaka. Like, all he does is play sideways and backwards. I barely even noticed him today. Yeah, it's just a joke. You know, Pablo Murray, he's come back into the squad. All right, I understand he's been dropped, but he was shocking. Like, I thought Louise was probably our def best defender. Uh, Tierney, uh, I thought he was all right. But again, he was, he was quite poor, from being real. 
Um, he he got he, he got past Kufal like two times, um, and he obviously tried to make some crosses in. Um, but yeah, Abamyan again. The this the only thing Abamyan did in the whole entire game was celebrate for our third goal when he's walking off the pitch. It just goes to show how bad he was. He had like twenty two touches in the whole game or something. That's the last time they they showed it up, and like I don't even think he had a shot. You know, it's a joke. What's happened to Abamyan? What's happened to him? Saka, what did he do? Like I love Saka, but I wouldn't have started him. I wouldn't have started him today. I would have started Pepe. Pepe comes on, sets up the cross, ban, frees who are back in the game. It's like, yeah, Mikan says has got to leave. He's got to get out of the club right now. But we we won't sack him. And then that, and this is going to be the narrative, yeah? Is, oh, we we didn't win the game and we got off to a slow start because we was tired in Europe. Even though that we lost to Olympiacos and we was too busy laughing at Spurs, yeah? I was laughing at Spurs. But, like, I wasn't going, oh, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, you know, Spurs, yeah, yeah, all that. I was, I was having a little laugh, but I wasn't going to the full extent which some of our fans are going to. Like, it's just a joke. And, yeah, it was a good comeback. And fair play to Mikan Teta. He made some attrition say works. At the end of the day, mate, you're out of your depth. You're not good enough. You need to get out of my club right now. And that showed, that first half showed that he's been relying on Little moments like that, like them two on goals today, that saved his job, yeah? I, I, I don't care what anyone says. Yeah, he's not the tactical genius that everyone thought. Oh, oh, Pep called him tactical genius, yeah, because he's been sat next to him for four years or something. It's just a joke. Let's get around to my player ratings. So, something goal, Berlano. Five. I mean, he's lucky he doesn't get a three. Um, now, the reason why I'm giving him a five and not a three is because um, I get... Listen... The mistake was shocking, dreadful. He should have been saving that, I don't care. Um, so that's why he gets a three. But after that, he did make some really good saves, some really crucial saves, so I'm going to give him a five. Um, moving on to Chime Chambers, he's getting an eight out of ten. I thought he's definitely my man my, 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 of the match, in my opinion. I thought he's, I thought he's really good. Um, yeah, I thought, I thought he'd done really well. So yeah, Chambers is going to get an eight out of ten. Like I said, I thought the defence was quite poor. Um, I think the whole defence was poor. Um, but the attacking side was, wow. Fair play, Callum Chambers. Um, and he and I think he he played like against Burnley and had a good game as well. So, yeah, Chambers is going to get a, um, eight, an 8 out of 10 for me. Uh, Pablo Murray's getting a 4. Um, I thought he was shocking, if I'm being quite honest. Um, he sort of come into the game, so, uh, made some good... I mean, let me get it straight. Up until the first half of an hour, um, the first half he was appalling like, the whole defence. And then it got 60 minutes and he started to wake up a little bit. But, um, yeah, still we're pulling, like, 4 out of 10. Louise, on the other hand, I'm going to give David Louise a 6. I thought he'd done uh, definitely probably our best, uh, no, not defender, obviously, our best centre-back. Yeah, I'm going to give Louise a 6. I thought he'd done all right. Um, Kieran Tinney's going to get a 5 out of 10. I thought he's average. Um, but, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give him Tinney a 5. Um, he worked really hard, as he always does. But it wasn't his best performance today, and he was quite poor, from being honest. Uh, Granite Xhaka, everybody, that's what a party. Granite Xhaka, he's getting a free. Now, I don't care if he's the only player getting a free. And, oh, you've got an agenda on Granite Xhaka. Yeah, he's not good enough for Arsenal Football Club. It's another shocking performance. He, 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 he came up for a reason. Yeah, like, it's a joke. He's getting a free. Shocking. Um, Thomas Party, he's going to get a six. I thought um, another one player who can probably hold his head up really high. Um, yeah, I thought he done really well. I'm giving part of a six. Um, moving on to Odegaard, he's getting an eight out of ten as well. Between him and James for man in the match, I thought he done. I thought Odegaard was sick. Uh, once again, I think he should be signed on the permanent deal. Um, Saka four, same as Mari. Didn't see him. You know, I, yeah, barely saw him. And um, look, don't get me wrong, he, he works really hard, but it's just like, I think he needs, like, he, he, he needs a break. And like I said, I will start Pepe for this game, but, you know, obviously we have to start Saka. Uh, Abamiam, two. Two. I just don't care. He had 22 touches in the whole entire game. Or probably, like, he, like, listen, I think they showed it for like, the last 20 minutes. He had 22 touches, zero shots, zero, you know, he, I think he had like two touches in the box or something. I need to check the stats again, but he was just dreadful. He was honestly dreadful. I don't know what's happened to him. Like, he, the fact that he's turned up late. You're Arsenal captain. You're Arsenal football club captain. Does he know what it means? Because, look, I think he does. But, 
right? The, the fact that he turns up late in a, in a North London derby, the biggest game of our season, to then go and perform absolutely horrendous in the Europa League, even though he had three shots and it was one of his worst, um, you know, he, yeah, he didn't score anything. And it's been a lot of shit performance against West Ham. And then you've been shit for the whole, uh, for pretty much the whole majority of the season. What's going on? Like, as soon as, as, soon as he signed a contract, he, he, he went downhill. I don't know. Is it the contract? I'm not, I'm not sure. Is it the virus? Is that affecting him? Because there's no fans. I'm not just, I'm, I'm, I, I, I generally don't know. But, um, yeah, Lacazette, uh, again, another one who should really be my man in the match. I'm giving him an eight as well. Uh, but for our oh, Chambers, Lacazette, Chambers, yeah, I think all of them get an eight because Lacazette was class. Obviously, that header for our E class was superb. Um, so yeah, Cham um, Lacazette, Chambers, Odegaard up there for my man in the match. I probably will give it to Chambers in the end, but maybe Odegaard. I don't know. It's like between them three for sure. Uh, the summer Trucians, Pepe, he's getting a five straight away because he set up the goal. Um, I. Was, I'm doing the subs. You can start off from zero, go up to five. Smith Rowe's getting a four. I thought when he come on, um, you know, did try really hard. Uh, and I, I always forget the final sub, don't I? Martinelli, I ain't gonna mark him. Uh, I don't even remember. Get, I've done, I did he even touch the ball at all. It's what happens when you've been in on ten minutes. What do you expect him to, to do? You know. So um, yeah, Mikel Arteta. This gonna be an interesting score. He's getting a. I was gonna give him a one. Um. Maybe I will. Maybe maybe oh, but we came back. Ah, oh, I'm. I'll give him a five. I'll give him a five because the comeback, obviously. But apart from that, you've got to get out, mate. You just got to go. Like, how are you? How are we going down three nil to West Ham United? There's no disrespect to West Ham, but three nil to West Ham. I couldn't believe it. And yeah, we came back. Well done. Well done. If we do this in Europe League against Slavia Prague, who shouldn't even be in the tournament, but if if we do this by, against Slavia Prague and we let them go 3-0 down, the tie will be over there and then. There's no coming back. But, like, we we can't keep playing this shit. We just can't keep doing this because, you know, this is all about... This is all a part of the process, apparently, yeah? This is the... the, the there's going to be bumped in the road. If this was Una Emery... If this was Una Emery... Every single fan would want his head on the stick, plotting at, at Yemus. Remember when um we went two two and up against Watford, yeah, and we bottled it two and uh, and we bottled it to go two two. They was all getting sack Emery, sack Emery, yeah. Like at Southampton as well, we made that comeback, sack Emery, sack Emery, because it's on Teta. Oh, Mikel on Teta. I just don't, I just don't understand it. Like, I just don't get the. Love fest with this manager, and um, until people will realize that we will not win the Europa League competition, and if we do, I'm still sticking to answer her out because I don't care. Like, yeah, we've won the Europa League, and it's what Mikanteta seems to do. Like, the, the players somehow turn up when we get to the final and then play well. But at the end of the day, you guys, I'm 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 embarrassed to be an Arsenal fan. Um, fair best West Ham. They they gave us a good game. and should have really won. I'll see you guys for uh, England preview. We'll be doing lots of England content because it is international break now. Thank you guys for watching.